Hello and thank you for joining me for your in-depth weekly horoscope for week commencing the 14th of December for the Sun or the Ascendant. If you've yet to subscribe to my channel, I'd be honoured if you did so now. Please click or tap on the bell notification symbol. Also, if you've yet to do so, please order your year 2021 personal horoscope forecast and character analysis special offer. You'll get the rest of uh, this year for free, 30% off. It's based on your time, date and place of birth, totally unique to you. Ascend above your zodiac sign and discover what the upcoming year holds for you in fine detail. Hello Gemini and welcome to your in-depth weekly horoscope for week commencing the 14th of December. It's truly exciting for you this week because Venus, the planet of love and affection, moves into your sector of relating. The seventh house is one of the most magical areas that Venus can be and she's going to be here right through to the end of the year. But critically for you, there's also a solar eclipse in this area too on Monday, but it's going to be embracing your ruling planet of Mercury. Now both the eclipse and Mercury are also in a hugely enabling 120 degree trine with Mars, which is in your sector of future hopes, friendships, fraternity. You're going to be connecting with people over the next six months who really are meaningful for you. This could be some shifts in your life, in your uh, associations, in your friendships even, but it's going to bring in people who are incredibly excited that you can really relate to and the opportunity to improve all sorts of relationships comes as early as this week with that gorgeous location of Venus from Tuesday. Now it has to be said that also on Thursday and Saturday, Saturn and Jupiter respectively move into your sister air sign of Aquarius. This is the truth sector of your scope, but it's also about knowledge. It's also about philosophies, travel, history, um, higher principles. And you're going to really find this, this is so exciting for you. It's going to really open up the end of this year in a very exciting way. I do feel that 2020 has been quite bruising in some ways, particularly around long-term finances or where you feel most invested. I feel that you're starting to look outwards more, uh, look around, gain more facts and figures, inform yourself more, and that's going to feed into your decision making. It really is going to pick up speed and a big shift in your outlook can definitely take place now. Now, it is true to say that Mars and Pluto are in a mighty square this week. So if there are politics or jealousy or possessiveness around any involvement in your situation at the moment, I do feel it can be a game changer. A game changer in so much that I feel that you're going to either find the way to accommodate some kind of, uh, some kind of compromise or you may decide to really push your boundaries, be very firm, and some kind of escape uh, can occur. But it won't be without reverberations. We must always be careful not to be too simplistic in our expectations. But I generally and genuinely feel an exciting new period is dawning for you. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you so much for joining me. Do stay safe, take care, and goodbye for now.